Welcome to the channel. Um, we have a uh, Silvercrest power strip here. These were sold by Little. Um, the um, issue with this strip is that the hub that Little provides only works with Google Assistant. It doesn't work with Alexa. Uh, it also, the strip won't pair up with a Philips U hub or a IKEA Trollfri hub. I have been told that it works with the Alexa Echo Gen 4 that has uh, Zigbee support and with the uh, Samsung SmartThings hub. But the problem there, it will only switch the first socket and we want to switch all three sockets. So in my particular case, I use OpenHub anyway for tying different technologies together. So we are basically gonna pair this up with a Zigbee USB sniffer dongle um, that is directly tied into OpenHub using Zigbee 2 MQTT. And that way we should be able to switch all three sockets. Anyhow, long, t long story short, we'll start and we'll uh, pair this first. So for that, we'll have to log into the OpenHub. Um, that's that one. And then I have my Zigbee 2 MQTT running uh, in the screen. Now, I won't go into setting Zigbee 2 MQTT up because, uh, but I will place a link down in the description for that the, the documentation is quite good for that. So what you see here is, and uh, that's this. So we'll stop this um, and then we go into the configuration, which is, hang on, uh, there. Okay, so permit join is set to false because we don't want other people to pair devices to our network. So that's neat. True, so that we can pair this one. There is another thing then. Um, previously, I was using JSON, um, uh, and that's a, that that's something that is a bit cumbersome. Uh, this is easier. So when you look here, um, I have experimental output attribute. I have this set. This will give me plain text state uh, reports from. To, uh, uh, from uh, Zigbee to MQTT. The other thing that I added under advanced is the availability timeout. What this does is that Zigbee to MQTT will ping the Zigbee devices um, every uh, now and so often and then will report to OpenHub if the device is online or offline. And that's quite handy to have. Now you can see I have a few devices here already. Um, this power strip here on my desk is not in there. So um, we'll save that setting and then we'll start up the Zigbee 3 MQTT uh, daemon again. Okay, and hold the power button for five seconds until the light flashes red. That's the pairing mode. And that should be it. So if we now stop this again, and we go into our configuration. Here's our device, great. So we give this a friendly name because nobody wants to remember that hash. So this is the test power strip one. The other thing is we will also go and remove permit join because we don't want anybody else to join the network. So start this again. Perfect. And just to see what happens here, if I press power on, see everything comes on. If I press power off, everything comes off. Perfect, that works. Now, next step uh, is we go into OpenHub and we start configuring this. So we will go into settings, um, things, uh, and then we go, what you need obviously is the MQTT broker set up and, and going, I have that one here. As you can see, that's all fine and well. Um, that's something you obviously need to have in place already. Um, and if you want me to make a guide on that, I can do that, but there's plenty of information out for that. So back to things and we want to add a thing and we use the MQTT binding and then we add a generic MQTT thing. So we will call this test power strip one. And that's the test 
power strip one grant. Uh, the bridge needs to be joined, defined. That's okay. Um, we go for advanced here. Um, and what we put in is uh, not that, but test power strip one online and offline. So this does that the your, um, that open hub will be able to determine if the power strip is on or off, or if it's connected or not. Create a thing and there it is and it's online, that's great. So we're in here, perfect. So the next thing now is that we want to create a channel. It's in here. We add the channel and this is going to be an on off switch. So um, the state topic is sick B to MQTT. You could see that in my configuration on the uh, over on the box. And then it's test power strip one and state uh, state L1. That's the first of the sockets. The, um, to send it a command, it's b to mqtt test power strip one l1 set. So, and the custom value here is on and off. And then we need to give this a name. This is test power strip one socket one. Uh, test power strip one socket one. Okay, create. There's our channel. Link an item. Create a new item. Um, and that is literally it. Uh, link. So we can then click in here and you can see and literally great. As you can see on the um, on the power strip, the light goes on and off. And what we also want to do is, I want to press the button here, and you can see it changes in Open Hub. So the status is reported back. That's great. So I'll just go and I'll uh, create the two other uh, sockets quick. So back to things. Test power strip, channels, add a channel. So that's number two, create new item, link, test this, and yeah, that's socket two, working, grant, third one. That's the third one. Create new 
item link. And also that is working. Perfect. So we can now go to items. Here are three items. Uh, you can see on, on, off. So if I go and I click on the on, off button, and then we'll refresh, they are now all off. They are now all on. So that's working, um, and that uh, is the easier way of doing things compared to my previous video.